Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to go over updating the magic mirror. And this is my smart mirror right here. As you can see, there's a little update that comes up every now and then up at the top there. And it can get a little annoying and you want to get rid of that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pop over on the screen here. I'm using VNC Viewer, very cool tool to remotely log in to your Raspberry Pi. And basically I'm going to open up the terminal and I'm going to follow a guide that uh, I put together on my website in an article of originally when I created the smart mirror. It's a really good guide and it's got some neat little tips in it, but one thing I had issues with was updating it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just follow the steps in the article. You'll go into the actual article itself or you can just go down to the description in the YouTube uh, video here and you'll see the code that I've inserted down at the bottom for updating your smart mirror. But if you were to go to my um, article, there's a link in the description. You see down towards the bottom there, almost about a uh, little over halfway down, there's a section on updating the Magic Mirror. And you'll see that you just have to CD into the Magic Mirror directory. So you're going to open your terminal and just basically go into the Magic Mirror directory. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then you're just going to run a couple lines of code. Um, and you might have to run another line or two just in case if you come up with any issues because you can see down at the bottom here I've got um, a contingency basically a plan B if you have issues just doing the standard update and so what I'm doing here is I just opened my terminal window on my magic mirror this is the same exact magic mirror I showed in the video at the very beginning and I'm just CDing into the magic mirror directory and then I'm going to go ahead and copy the code over or actually just type in git pull and and npm install and that is the basic way to update the magic mirror but if you get this weird error that says something about package lock json what you need to do is run this line of code while you're still in that magic mirror directory it's git reset hard git clean df and then after you run that it's going to prompt you with a message you're going to go ahead and then run git pull and and npm install again and then you might have to hit yes to actually um, finish the install it might want to confirm that it takes a little while I sped up the video to make this a little faster for you and then what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and reboot it after it's done and then after it's done once the actual mirror reboots that little alert that was up at the top saying that an update was needed should disappear so you'll see here my magic mirror has been rebooted and that alert message up at the top saying it needed an update has removed it's not there anymore okay so just to do a quick recap here and go over it one more time in case you missed it there you're gonna lo log into your magic mirror or you can just you know hook a keyboard up to it open up the terminal you're gonna CD into the magic mirror directory and then you're gonna run the git pull and an npm install and if you have any issues then run the other two lines of code where you just run the, the git reset clean and then basically git pull and an npm install. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, also today I'm going to show you real quick on my next video I'm going to be actually showing how to configure the magic mirror. I've done a couple of custom uh, modules that I found online for this. One of them being the temperature sensor. You can see I've got it right there at the top. It was just sitting around in my house and I had it for the Arduino and I looked it up and I found there was a module for it and so you can see down here at the bottom I've got the actual temperature being fed in and displaying on my magic mirror and then right there I've got the open maps API connected so I've got the full weeks worth of uh, temperature as well too external temperature and then up in the top right is the outside temperature and then over here to the left I've got the calendar integration showing what day of the week it is and then I've actually got a sync with my Google Calendar so whenever I add a new event it tells me when it's um, coming up and then down here at the bottom I've got an RSS feed for the local news and so I've uh, tried to make this magic mirror as practical as possible but as you can see here um, I've got a few customizations I wanted to share so I hope you like my videos keep an eye out for my next one make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching